The Hamilton County School Board will likely renew its contract with Durham School Services. This comes after the Woodmore crash that killed six children last year. Channel 3's Michelle Heron has reaction from board members and what they would like to see moving forward. There's not that many companies out there that can service our district. Durham is responsible for about 80% of the school buses in Hamilton County, which is why district leaders weren't surprised when no one replied to the county's request to take on the job. Eventually, the district wants to steer away from using a private company and employ more owner operators to help transport the 20,000 students who ride buses. Tiffany Robinson, who represents District 4, believes that may be why no other companies applied. You know, this may only be for two years, and, you know, we are changing the number of routes that we're going to give to this company. And so, you know, like from a, from a business standpoint, um, I, I see it as, well, yeah, that is going to automatically deter. November's deadly crash forced Durham to take a look at its policies. CEO David Duke presented a list of changes put into place since the crash. They include a new online complaint system that Duke claims has resulted in a 70% drop in the number of complaints. But Robinson and District 2 member Kathy Lennon believe the system could be better. You know, if there is a concern, if there is a complaint from a parent, how you go about doing that, you know, that has to be very, very important. Whenever there's a barrier between the person complaining to the person that the complaint needs to get to, um, I see that as a pretty big barrier that you know, things just get lost in translation. Duke also says the company has seen an improvement in driving behavior after installing smart cameras and adding bus monitors to its Hamilton County fleet. Improvements board members plan to hold Durham accountable to. In Chattanooga, Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The company also increased entry-level pay for drivers by 13 percent, bringing the total to $15 an hour. The school board has agreed to continue doing business with Durham, but will have to vote on the terms of a formal contract over the next few weeks.